Good morning, doctor. My name is Zhao Jingqi, and my team number is 277-338. Today, I would like to present for my assignment 1. Now, I would like to do some introduction of my selected topic. The topic that I selected is Port of Joint Framework. Port of Joint Framework has been a part of the standard Java platform since version 7. Port of Joint Framework uses the divide and conquer algorithm, which involves splitting a larger task into the smaller part, and then two smaller parts are splitting again into the smaller one. And then recursively repeating splitting and build, they are small enough to be solved directly. Two steps are referred to a force, and then all the parts are executed in the parallel. At the end, all the results are joined together to produce a final result. Four joint framework consists of the four following classes, which are four joint tasks, four joint pool, recursive action, and also the recursive task. To learn more about the four joint framework, I have studied two articles, which are a Java four joint framework and four joint parallelism in the while documenting patterns and independence in Java program using the four joint framework. In the first paper, which is named a Java for Joint Framework, we will study on what is Java for Joint Framework, learn the design, implementation, and performance of a Java framework for supporting a style of parallel programming. Furthermore, we also study how the for Joint Framework makes the program more effective and get the result through the particular example. In the second article, which named the for Joint Parallelism in the world, documenting patterns and anti-patterns in Java program using the for Joint Framework has stated that there is no research has even been done on the Fortran model real use. Therefore, we will study how the Java Fortran framework is used in the real world application. Besides that, we will study on the impact of their performance by elevating the execution timing of two equivalent programs, which is one with the independent and another one without independent. So the objective of this article is to study the Fortran model's practical use and identify the best practice pattern and independent. Now move on to the summary of the two articles. First, for the proper statement for the first article is the challenge in developing effective and scalable parallel programs in Java. So developing a parallel program might be difficult is because Java has provided a variety number of mechanisms for concurrent programming, and it might make it difficulty in using the mechanism properly. Hence, in this article, a solution has been proposed to solve the problem which is introducing a new Java framework for parallel programming that can make the programs become more effective. Besides that, for Drive framework can help to reduce the runtime for parallel program and more scalable. Then for the second article, the problem statement of this article is to study on how the Fortran models practical use and identify the best practice pattern and anti pattern. The incorrect usage pattern will affect the effectiveness, hence this observation can then be used to guide the programmer to follow the proper patterns and away from the wrong ones. Therefore, it can help avoid the identified anti patterns. Next, another problem is the efficiency will be affected by the parallelism and overhead. Therefore, we need to choose the task generality carefully. The two methods of maximizing parallelism and minimizing overhead must be balanced against one another in recursive divide and conquer algorithm in order to ensure effective execution. Next, for the objective, there are two objectives in the first article is to introduce a Fortran framework for implementing parallel algorithm in Java and to study the design, implementation, and performance of Java framework. Moreover, in the second article, the objective is to study the anti and their impact on performance, to study the Fortran model's practical use and identify the best practice pattern and anti pattern, and to discuss on how the future language of framework could help programmers using proper patterns and avoid identify anti pattern. Then the method used in first article is provided some practical example in making use of the Fortran framework in real use application. So for example, it has provided sample code and explanation that demonstrate how to use it like the Fortran framework. Some standard examples given are the class computing, the Fibonacci function, and sorting. Besides that, performing this run on the 30 West Enterprise is one of the way to evaluate the performance and scalability of the Fortran framework. In the second article, the method that was used is conducting a qualitative empirical study on a corpus of 120 open source Java project that use Fortran framework. So to evaluate the performance impact of the anti pattern, we have performed a quantitative as well as qualitative research. For quantitative research, we can ask how often they occur in corpus, whereas in the qualitative research, we can ask the question on how they affect performance. 
then analyze the data by summary the occurrence of the pattern and any pattern and determine what pattern that affect the performance and at the end make a conclusion and interpret the result. Then the result that we can obtain from the first article is using Fortran framework can make the program more efficient through several practical examples. Furthermore, through the test run on the 30 processors, it found that its performance can be improved over other approaches. Moreover, the result that we obtain in the second article is maximizing the parallelism, minimizing overhead, minimizing condition, and maximizing locality is important to achieve the maximum efficiency with Fortran. Then, in the first article, we can conclude that an easier and more effective method for parallel programming is using the Fortran framework. The Fortran framework enables splitting a specific task over a number of workers before combining them once the results are in. So it may intensive use of machine multi-processor capacity. It also can improve the performance and scalability of the parallel program. Then in the second article, we can conclude that Fortran framework is a good tool that is used for parallel programming in Java. Although Fortran framework is good in use for parallel programming, for it to perform well, it also must be used properly. Moreover, they are conducting a qualitative empirical study on a corpus on 120 open source Java projects that use Fortran framework in this article. At the end, we know that a significant number of the developers do ahead to apply documented best practice such as using a sequence card of which is 5% of the corpus and a writing pointless forking which is 90% of the corpus. Next, what did I learn from the articles? So, by reading these two articles, I have understood that Fortran framework use the divide and conquer algorithm. So, the basic case of a divide and conquer algorithm is when the problem is small enough to be solved, and the recursive case is when the problem is divided into a smaller subproblems, and the solution to each subproblem are merged. So, for example, the Fortran task is one of the classes in the Fortran framework, and eight key methods are the Fortran and the info method. The four methods which the task is submitted for asynchronous execution, the join method is used to return the result when the computation is done, and the evil method is combined the four and the join method into a single call. Therefore, it is important to consider the sequence in which you call the method. For example, the four method must be called when each of the tasks has been divided, then call the combo method to process the recursively on the second subtask. So through the four method, the first subtask will add to the current three tab. And then the cover method is used to execute the task directly in parallel. Hence, the order is very important is because there won't be any result to obtain if you don't call the fork before the join. And the join must be called at the final step since the join will prevent processing of the following program until the result is written. That's all for my presentation. Thank you.